Feet, welcome to the graveyard, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, got a lot of feedback on this build. Definitely wanted to just get it out there and share it with you guys since it has been working very well for me and it's a lot of fun. Unfortunately, a lot of it, maybe not a lot, but there's definitely going to be some things that need to be changed and swapped out with the upcoming uh, buffs for Necro next patch. I won't get into deep as far as what those changes will be, but I will display the build that I have been running. Just did a BG's match. Got a couple of clips, some screenshots, went 14-2, and two, did about a million damage. It's a lot of fun. This build really makes you feel like the kiss of death and just basically reeling in um, souls to... Uh, not souls as in like enemy players to basically <laughs> demonize them and just uh, try to put as much pressure in such a short window and just finish them off. So it's a lot of fun. It's it's definitely an aggressive type build. That's why it's called the Entity. You know, get in, get out. You're basically a, a, a living demon that's just running around and killing everything in its path. So that's my little intro. Let's jump right into the character sheet. These are our unbuffed stats. Uh, great max resources. We're at 30k max magic, 30k max health. Uh, about almost 20k max stam. And then, of course, as you saw with our ultimates, those will all go up an extra 10k, respectively, because of Swarming Scion. So we will be sitting at some high max resources, high damage output with those resources. And our sustain is exceptional on this build as well. Uh, spell damage, spell penetration, right where it needs to be. That is before major and minor breach because we are running both on those builds. And then our recoveries can get to 2100 mag recovery and about 1800, 1700 stam recovery. Health recovery is not important right now just because we are running a vampire stage 3. And then our bewitched sugar skulls is our food with lover uh, mundus for the extra penetration. This will all change next patch because we will be dropping Vampire and I will update this build accordingly. So stay tuned for that, but right now I just want to share this if you guys want to try it out while this is still going on in Update 42 and see what you think. Give me some feedback. Uh, I love everything that this build has done for me thus far. 41 points in the Max Magic, 23 to get that up to uh, just over 30k Max Health. If you feel like you have too much health, then you can definitely put all of it into magic if you'd like. Um, doesn't make a huge difference, but I always like to keep that 30 to 32k max health window. Uh, jumping into our skills here, we are running Spirit Guardian. Spirit Guardian will uh, definitely be our sustain buff. It's going to give us some healing on top of it. We have a lot of healing on this build because we need it for a specific set we are running. Um, and it's going to reduce your damage by 10%. Leashing Soul. Now that we're jumping into Scribing, Scribing has done a lot for the Necromancer, and I'm happy with the outcome. So what this is going to do is a little bit of damage up front, and then it's going to do a small dot over time. But the biggest thing is it's going to apply the Stun and Major Breach buff for 10 seconds. The 10 second window is not important because we will be spamming this. I know it looks a little frightening with the cost up front, but don't worry about that. It's it's not that big of a deal once we have our, our back bar set going. So what this does is you pull them in, it's going to stun them, and then it's going to apply a small damage up front, a little bit of a dot, and then inflict them with major breach. And then after you do that, you're going to hit Binding Burst, which is going to immobilize them, kind of like a DK when you uh, mobile, or, uh, CC them, and then they're immobilized immediately after the CC. So it's a really aggressive um, way to just take control of an enemy and reset the fight. It's going to heal us. So it's a little bit of a heal over time. But the more important thing is it's going to inflict them with Minor Breach. So we already have 10k penetration up front. Now we have Major and Minor Breach on top of it. So juicy penetration stats across the board. So while they're immobilized and CC'd, they're going to get hit with our Arterial Burst, which is going to do more damage the less health we have. And it's going to be Critical Strike every time we are under 50% health. 
So high damage output, and then when we're fully buffed up, this tooltip gets up to about 11, 12k-ish. So very aggressive. Don't forget the hemorrhaging status effect too, so it's a little bit of a dot. Blighted Blast Bones, this gets up to a 16k tooltip with fully buffed stats. Uh, gonna apply major and minor to file, which is awesome. We're running a bunch of major and minor debuffs to the enemy, and then our burst window is just going to crush them. Swarming Scion, uh, I know it's a bit costly, but like I said, this build will update next patch. Um, spoiler alert, we will be dropping Vampire because Necromancer will no longer need to be a Vampire due to us being tankier with our passives and our sets that we'll be running, we will have more damage mitigation than those running around with uh, the 20%, it's either 10 or 20% damage reduction. I don't remember what the the nerf was, but uh, we won't need to be running Vampire. That's all you need to know. But as of right now, it's a lot of fun. It works with this build, so we're running Swarming Scion on our front bar. It's going to boost all of our stats by 10,000, uh, increasing our damage and our healing, and then of course it's going to apply um, a little bit of a dot around us while this is up. 3k per second for 20 seconds, and then we heal for 15% of all the damage we deal. Now that 15% may seem low, but the amount of damage that we output with this build is insane, so it's very aggressive. 14 and 2 on a Necro and a Battlegrounds is pretty good. Back bar, Resolving Vigor, Resistant Flesh, Hexproof, Summoning Armor, Blood Mist, and Life Giver. Uh, obviously Resolving Vigor right now and Summoner's Armor so we can get Major and Minor uh, Resolve. But next patch, thankfully Summoner's Armor will give us both of those so we can drop this for a different skill. But as of right now, this is what we are running. This is our Burst Heal. Um, our buffed stats on our back bar will be 27, 25 Physical and Spell Resistance. And then our Resistance Flesh can push that up even higher as we... Uh, you know, hit those burst heals and um, our physical and spell resistance equal to half the amount healed for will be granted to us. So we can see like 35k resistances. It's it's insane. I love this skill. I used to hate it, but it, it really it really does shine. So X proof. The amount of status effects on you at all times, no matter what. You need this. This is a must. The amount of healing we have allows us to use this skill. 16k health isn't really that much when we have all of these hots coming in, and then our damage output is going to help us with our heals when we are in our vampire form. Um, definitely able to spam this. We can keep all of those effects off of us, increasing our survivability, allowing us to do what we need to do, and it's, uh, it's honestly a uh, slept-on skill. So... Uh, try this out, let me know what you think. And then, of course, while it's slotted, all of our other skills are reduced by 3%. So we are able to get off our Life Giver quite a bit. Um, this is also used offensively, but I'll talk about that in a second. Summoner's Armor, it's going to reduce the cost of our Skelly Mage, our Blighted Blast Bones, and our Spirit Guardian. We're not running the Skelly Mage right now, but Spirit Guardian can get quite costly if you're casting it on cooldown. And then this will make our Blighted Blast Bones cost about 900 stamps, so really good uh, tool tip there. And then Blood Mist, this is our getaway tool. Uh, I use it kind of like a Sork. I'm, I'm pretty aggressive with it, you know, especially those Sorks that seem to streak away and think that they're going to, you know, that they're hot shit and unkillable. Well, not with this build. We can catch up to them and then pull them in with our Leashing Soul and then just demolish them, so... Sorry for you Sork mains, fuck you guys. You guys have had a, a hell of a patch, and the time of the Necro is among us, so get ready. Um, and then it's also going to apply a, uh, a little bit of a dot and healing us at the same time. So we have all kinds of ways of healing. Uh, so we have Resolving Vigor, we have Blood Mist, we have our Burst Heal, we have the heal from this, we have the heal from this when it's up, and then we have Life Giver. Life Giver is an awesome skill, especially for a Resto Staff back bar. Um, casting this, it, some of this was not explained very well before they updated the um, 
the tool tip on this, but now when you have this active, it's going to cast Regeneration, Blessing of Protection, and Steadfast Word at no cost. So essentially you have three more skills on your bar for 131 ultimate, and then whatever morph of these you choose will be casted um, when that ultimate goes off. So I have Rapid Regen, Combat Prayer, and Healing Word. Um, I, you can slow the video down if you'd like to read these, but I just want to keep it short and sweet. But basically, this is what these are going to do for you when you do cast your ultimate. It only costs 130, so you can get this off pretty quickly, and it's going to do a lot of healing for you while you are still going offensively and being aggressive. And basically just being that demon that is... Um, uh, taking control of the battlefield and you're just infesting all of your greatness and necromancy so uh, a lot of fun that's the front bar that's the back bar let's jump into our sets here i know i'm rambling snake in the stars brought it back a lot of fun very aggressive damage so when we have all of our stuff going off you know of course we have uh the minor and major breach so that's going to proc our snake in the stars and while the snake in the stars is going off and they are trying to out heal your incoming damage they're going to get hit with star venom so every time they heal they're going to take 1451 oblivion damage every 0 0.1 seconds and they are on a cooldown for 12 seconds so not a huge deal you can go from enemy to enemy and just pepper them and then of course our sets and Blighted Blast Bones is going to reduce their healing even more. So you already saw it. I kind of clicked on it on accident, but Jarl Warchief, or Jarl's Warchief, however you pronounce it, super slept on set for this kind of setup. So anytime we deal damage, which is a lot, we apply a stack of Milady to the enemy, reducing the, their healing received by 1% for 5 seconds, up to 35 stacks not hard to get to 35 stacks with this setup. Uh, basically what that's going to do is they're going to have 35% reduced healing here, and then they're going to have an additional um, what is it? Uh, 16, 8, 24% reduced healing here. So overall 59% reduced healing for a 5 second window. Absolutely insane. Well, 4 seconds because Blighted Blast Bones only last four, but then they'll have uh, a one second window of 35% reduced healing. But four seconds of 59% reduced healing while Star Venom is going off, it's it's quite aggressive. Definitely uh, a very strong setup, and I'm happy with the outcome. Uh, Crown Lethal Poisons, you don't have to run poisons, you can run your uh, Glyph, whatever you have, but since I have them, I just threw them on. Back bar setup, uh, vitality, definitely a must. Being in and out of combat, trying to get away, trying to heal up, reset the fights, having that window of just insane resource recovery is a must. And honestly, you're doing yourself a favor because Necro lacks a lot of things, and being able to have these kind of stats really helps the class out. Damage being one of them, so having recovery on top of it, just, it makes sense. Uh, finishing off with our sets, we have Trainee. Uh, the traits are all over the place. Just because I threw it together, I didn't think it would work, but it's a lot of fun. But obviously you would go with Critical Resistance, just because we're not running rallying cry so we can be a bit squishy when we get hit with something uh, flame or fighters guild related just because we are a vampire so that crit resistance will help out a lot but these are what I'm running it's just what I threw together the um, weighted sets though do matter so I have lights heavy medium and then light medium light medium so definitely make sure you have at least a good mixture of medium and light so that you get the most damage, uh, penetration, and critical output that you can. Uh, our mythic is the Saint and Seducer. I have Swift on this. I kept it and the reduced cost just because it makes our skills cost the least. And we're able to spam things off quite a bit. As you saw... Our Leashing Soul and Binding Burst are almost 4k, but we are able to use this quite a bit because Wretched Vitality just keeps our recoveries up, and it's really nice. 
Uh, and then I have Arcane on the Snake and the Star Rings. I think I purchased these back when they were in the Gold Vendor. I never bother changing them, so there definitely is an opportunity to boost your damage even more if you wanted to put Infused or Bloodthirsty on this and just go from there. Or even Swift if you feel like you're you're not fast enough. But, I mean, you can see me running around here. I'm, I'm pretty quick just with the Swift. You can kite in and out of fights. You can dodge roll. Your recovery is going to be up quite a bit. It's not an issue at all. Uh, I will probably leave this stream up, do a couple more BGs. I'll have the mic off, and then you can just see the build and display. And then I will upload the video um, as it sits in raw version. So I probably won't edit anything, just because I'm clutched for time. And uh, I just wanted to get this out there for the community, since I was me personally messaged quite a bit about it. So... Uh, I do use this in Battlegrounds quite a bit. If you did want to take it out into open world, this is the CP that I'm running. Uh, we have Cleansing Revival. Healing a target under 25% health removes all harmful effects. Just good to have. Increased damage done with direct damage. Increased damage done with single targets. It's just super aggressive. And then just increasing our weapon and spell damage. Just a little bit more for our healing. And of course our damage output as well. Uh, Red Tree, Boundless Vitality, Bastion, Fortified, and Celerity. Green Tree doesn't really matter, but if you want to see what I have, and I don't even think I even looked at the Green Tree. Seed's Blessing, Gifted Rider, yeah, that's a good one. Liquid Efficiency, Rationer. Uh, I never really bother with this unless I'm PvEing, but if you wanted to see what I have, that's what I have. Alright, so that is the build in a nutshell. But if you are interested in joining our guild, this is the Army of the Dead Graveyard. This is our guild house. We have a lot of uh, cool little things that you can interact with. We do have you know, the vampire stations. We do have the alien well. Uh, this is the graveyard. There's stuff all down below that you can explore. If you're interested, let me know. Message me, Xbox NA. Send in an application. Love to have you. It's a lot of fun. We have duels here every once in a while, and we'll sit up there and watch people duel down here. Yeah, I'm not really that serious of a PvPer, but I definitely, at, when I say serious, I mean like I'm not like hosting events and uh, that guild leader on the mic that's running around Cyrodiil and massive ball groups. You know, I just hop on. I like to chill, do my own thing. I'll talk to some people. Maybe we'll do like a group battlegrounds or something. But overall, it's just a fun way to escape and feel like that necro. And uh, if I missed anything, let me know in the comments down below. Definitely a fun build if you want to try it out. Let me know what you think. Peace out. Stay frosty. Welcome to the graveyard.